Okay, this is part two from yesterday. Uh, dictator, dictators. And uh, I asked you guys about, like, oh, do you think Park, Ch Park Chung Hee, or what do you think of him? And I think Taeyong was telling me and saying, like, you know, because of Park Chung Hee, a lot of people nowadays don't really, you know, like Park, Park Chung Hee too much. I mean, some people said he was good, some people said he was bad, you know. And nobody, nobody's 100% perfect and nobody's 100% bad. But I, I said, well, you know, dictator-wise, I think he was okay, because most dictators are really bad. As far as dictators go, uh, he wasn't that bad. Um, wise so what is the largest country in the world? Well, land-wise, Russia's the biggest. Population-wise, China's the biggest. Economy-wise, England? No, it's got to be China or the U.S. You can also use in terms of, in terms of land, Russia's the biggest. In terms of population, China's the biggest. Maybe on a, maybe on a flight or you know, you're know you driving your car, someone says, hey, fuel-wise, we're okay, but uh, time-wise, we need to hurry up. We don't have a lot of time. Taeyong also talked about Pavlov's dogs, and he said Pavlov was a Russian scientist. He did experiments. He gave dogs food, and when he gave them the food, when he fed them, he rang a bell. Ding, ding, ding. And when he rang the bell, they would salivate. Eventually, as time went by, he stopped giving them food and just rang the bell, and they would salivate. They would have saliva. Saliva is the noun. It was mouth-watering. Mouth-wateringly good. Anyway, tasty, outstanding, wonderful is another way to say delicious, because people people use this. It's it's delicious. Oh, it's so tasty. It's so good. So wonderful. Does that ring? Does that ring a bell? Means have you heard that before? Just like that Pavlov's dog. Ding ding ding. Have you seen this video? Do, do you know that case? Do you know that uh, British Midlands case? Yeah, that does ring a bell. Notice. Notice is C. I oh I I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't notice you. That's why I didn't say hi. Um, or, you know, that guy, he's not supposed to wear, um, that type of suit, but nobody noticed, so nobody cares. Give notice, you give your two-week notice. Most, most companies, most jobs that you want to give your two-week notice. Be on notice, maybe you got to fly. And so, they, someone says to you, hey, um, we'll call you next, uh, next Tuesday. You're not flying, but just be on notice because we might call you. Or maybe you're in trouble. Oh, I made a big mistake. I'm on notice. State of the art. What was that guy's name? Hyung Daehyun. Jung. Jung Hyun says that the 787 is st is a uh, state of the art aircraft. I would agree. It has great cabin space. The overhead cabins are really big. It has new TVs. Oh, I love it. What is your opinion on that? What is your take on that? And again, take is less formal. Foreboding. I, I have a bad feeling about this is from Star Wars, but for, foreboding is a bad feeling about the future. But it's very, I, I would say it's very formal. We don't use it that much. Fall apart and break apart. Maybe um, there's a snowman outside and it starts to get hot. So his nose falls off and his arm falls off and his other arm falls off. And the snowman is slowly dying. <laughs> Maybe your life or career are falling apart. You know, you you lose your dog, your dog dies, then your house, you lose your house, you go bankrupt. Break apart is used more for aircraft. It's breaking apart. As, I think arse is used more by Brit, by Irish people. Um, it's kind of, for me it's funny, but it could be a curse word. Ass is definitely a curse word. Donkey, <laughs> it's more, for me it's more funny. Stop being a donkey. <laughs> You have the floor means you're allowed to speak. You're the one who's uh, speaking. In the U.S. Congress, the U.S. Senate, maybe they say, the senator from Montana has the floor. Or in a total, in a debate, someone is yelling and saying, I have the floor. It's my turn to speak. Jira, flip out, freak out, go crazy. Uh, one of the, I kind of, I like be, be really, you know, very afraid. Okay, kind of freaked out there. Go crazy. I went crazy. I went nuts. Jira, epileptic seizure. He's having, one of the passengers is having an epileptic seizure. Sometimes the one thing that you don't want to happen, it happens. It's terrible. Yesterday with the volume, or, you know, I knew I had to turn down the volume for the video, and I didn't want that to happen, but it happened. 
You know, I had fall off versus come off in the in the last video or in the other video. Oh, the cow is out of the barn. Or close the barn door after the horse or cow is out or also has bolted. Bolted is balinaga, like run away, right? Bolted. You're walking in Myeongdong, you see your ex-girlfriend and you run away. <laughs> or you see your ex-boyfriend. You, where'd she go? She bolted. Um, again, or like a horse running away. Now that's not, that's more informal and I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, it's about a 3. Chonnum country boy, redneck, hick, hillbilly. Country boys are fun. Woohoo, horses! Rednecks are kind of dumb. Um, Koreans, Korean ajumas work outside all day. Their cheeks, bam, their cheeks get really red on their face. Hick, hick is really kind of dumb. Hey, there's building. Hillbilly is <laughs> kind of like more, very, very similar to, to these other ones, but um, doesn't dress very well, lives in the mountains. Um, Chol Hwan yesterday talked a lot about the voice inside a person's head, the little man inside your head, the little person in your head that says, Korean's not my language. Or no, or for, that's for me. For English isn't my language. You must injure that little person and kill him. Or really just injure him, hurt him. Limp, you know, you walk funny. Ow, I hurt my leg, I'm injured. Um, with this language thing, you know, time is your friend or time is your enemy. Chol Hwan also gave another example about reverse psychology. And he said, maybe you have a child, a son, and you tell the child, go to bed. That child is not going to go to bed. That child is going to say, can you give me a glass of water? You give them a glass of water, and then they're going to want a, you know, a cookie. Can you give me a cookie? So you have to use, they, they will keep stalling. Remember, stall in normal English means try to stop. Why aren't you answering me? Why are you stalling? Anyway, reverse psychology is you tell the kid, don't go to bed. So he starts doing it. <laughs> he starts, he says, well, no. You know, you say, just stand there, you're not going to bed. Eventually he'll say, or she'll say, but, 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 but I want to go to bed. Relax and chill are common. Chill is informal, but I made an, we made a new word, maybe chillax. That's more for like high school, high school guys would say that. You see a party, says bring your own beer, BYOB. Christians says bring your own Bible. Um, pulse and strings, this is how you guys use like that nakansan, like that parachute type of thing. Hey, your friend works in that company. Can you pull some strings for me? Can you help me? Hit the ground running, we had yesterday too. Like, you know, when you parachute, when you parachute, you you want you don't want to, you know, come to if you're in the military, you jump out of the airplane, you parachute to the ground. You don't want to you know take your time to take off your parachute and get your gun. You just want to you know hit the ground while you're still running. Right. Um, at the end of class, I talked to Trey Han and we did a live interview. I asked him. I said, "Hey, how was your birthday?" I asked him about his birthday. I asked him how it went. I I said to him, "Hey, how did it go?" Um, he said, I didn't do anything special. It was your average birthday. This is more common. I don't hear this too much. If you say so-so, I hate that word. If it's in the question, it's ever is in the question, it's stronger. What is your best birthday ever? Koreans often eat seaweed soup for their birthday or also on their birthday, right? Um, did you get any, any presents? Did you receive? Receive is formal get is informal. Sokpyeon, the sequel. All right. There's the first movie was really good, but the second movie, the sequel was terrible. That often happens.